。さあ、どんな車両か。<笑>はい、えー、おなじみの鍵やな。<笑>さあ、どんな車両か。Set the headlights to indicate that this train is operational. High beam. For this introduction, you'll be driving the train a short distance and performing passenger operations. Take a quick glance at the platform to ensure all is safe before. Higher. Close the doors before departure. Drive a loop of the circuit to get used to the controls. <coughs> This multiple unit features a combined power brake handle called a master controller. It's currently set in the brake range. Move the handle past the min power position and into the power range to get moving. Now you're moving, apply more power and focus on achieving the required speed. ライトがつかんのバグってんかもね。Coasting is a method used to efficiently make built between 1999 and 2008 by Bombardier Siemens and DWI. These units are mainly used for Regio Barn services. This unit has a power output of over 2,300 kilowatts, 3,150 horsepower, allowing for a maximum speed of 140 kilometers per hour, or 87 miles per hour. The BR45 shares a lot of design aspects with the BR423, BR44 and BR426 found on other routes within Germany. Approaching the station. 
began applying a small amount of braking force to bring the train to a gentle stop. Good work. The train is safe. Hi up. Proceed to the next stop unguided and see how you get on. That concludes this training module.
Welcome to Oldenburg Oppenhof, located in Lower Saxony, Germany. Oldenburg is located between the port city of Bremen to the east and Groningen in the Netherlands to the west. Oldenburg Hopbahnhof originally opened in 1879, although this new Art Nouveau building was opened in 1915 after four years of construction. There's a missing route map over there. Let's fix it while you're here. Hmm. There are lots more tasks to discover throughout this route. Make sure to apply all the route maps, restock first aid points, put up posters and collect statues. Your train has arrived. Let's climb aboard. Sit down in any available seat. This train is a DBBR110, renamed from a Bore E10 in 1968. The railway connection between Bremen and Oldenburg was opened in 1867. The first station was a converted goods shed before being replaced by a neo-Gothic style station in 1879, which itself was replaced in 1915. The Bremen to Oldenburg line runs for 44 kilometers through Lower Saxony and carries a variety of freight and passenger services. On this route, you'll learn how to operate this BR110, the BNR DZF 463 Enwagen control car, the BR425, and the BR155. Take a trip to the late 2000s and experience frequent regional passenger and heavy freight services. Be in control of classic and modern traction as you traverse through the heart of northern Germany. Electric containers and Enwagens await. This is Trainsim World, Bahnstrecke of Bremen, Oldenburg. In this training module, you'll be learning how to operate the Karlsruhe Kopf BNR DZF 463 Enwagen control car. This formation is powered by a BR110 locomotive at the rear of the train, which has already been set up for you. Sit in the driver's seat. 
。ああ、さっきんとこか。これはこっから入るのか。入るとこがあるやろ。よいしょ Firstly, you'll need to insert the reverser handle. The reverser determines the direction of travel. While you set up the cab, set the reverser to the neutral position. Unlock the brakes with the brake key to allow braking to be controlled from this cab. Set the headlights to indicate that this train is operational. Headlight. Ah, this. Open the passenger doors to allow boarding. It's so fast. Lock the doors and drive to the next stop unguided. The train is now ready to depart. Set the reverser to the forward position. Forward. Release the brakes. The throttle in this cab is a sprung ratcheted control. Ah, dynamic brake mode. Pushing the lever forward to the run up position will increase the selected tap in the locomotive and increase power. The hold position will maintain power at the current level. Pulling the lever towards you to the run down position will decrease the selected tap. Pulling the lever towards you to the off position runs down the tap to zero and will allow coasting. The throttle will be held in this position. As you cannot see the selected tap in this cab, you'll need to keep a close eye on the ammeter to ensure that you do not overload the traction motors. For this introduction, you'll be driving the train a short distance and performing passenger operations. Now, <coughs> apply some power using the throttle. Hey, after that, walk the kick off. Run down. Hold. スロットルホールドああ押した状態にすると早いんかあでこれを維持するかへえ変わった運転やなに押しとかなあかんのかじゃあかでも加速が悪い。何かが足らんかランアップホールドダウンかうーんかなり悪いなこれなんかやり方があるんか
とはいえブレーキもかかってないけどなあ間違ったその割には上がらんないな。何かがおかしいな。数秒待たなあかんのかねいやその割に加速がいってないのかなな何かがあれかうんなんて書いてたっけえー、ライトトリガーとインスクリーズ。ランアップ。ダウンさっきどうやってやってたんや<笑>うーんちょっとやり直すかリスタートうーんなんかおかしかったなFirstly, you'll need to insert the reverser handle. The reverser determines the direction of travel. While you set up the cab, set the reverser to the neutral position. 
unlock the brakes with the brake key to allow braking to be controlled from this cab. Set the headlights to indicate that this train is operational. Open the passenger doors to allow boarding. ここまではええねんけど、問題はこれやな。Lock the doors and drive to the next stop unguided. The train is now ready to depart. Set the reverser to the forward position. Release the brakes. Running well. The throttle in this car is a sprung ratcheted control. Pushing the lever forward to the run up position will increase the selected tap in the locomotive and increase power. The hold position will maintain power at the current level. Pulling the lever towards you to the run down position will decrease the selected tap. Pulling the lever towards you to the off position runs down the tap to zero and will allow coasting. The throttle will be held in this position. As you cannot see the selected tap in this cab, you'll need to keep a close eye on the ammeter to ensure that you do not overload the traction motors. For this introduction, you'll be driving the train a short distance and performing passenger operations. Now, apply some power using the throttle. スロットリアムのランアップ<音声>このまま持っとかなあかんねんな多分その割にあれやなランアップって割にはなんかはやり方がありかか加速はすんねんけどもっと加速せえへんな。リーチ1515どころじゃないんだな<音声>この辺がよう分からんな一気に上げたところでもあんま変わらんっていう<笑>なんなんやろうん意外とむずいなこれうんこのまま加速せんもんなえー、ああパワーオフか切ってしまった意味ないしな勝手に止まりよっとか加速せんもんなえ
見ましょう。スロットを上げることができますか。<笑>えー、ランアップに動かす。タップレベルで電力が維持される。うーん。時速15キロ。右トリガーで。ああ、何やろな。難しい。なんか切ってまうと入らんよな、これ。かがあれか<笑>うんうん来たかあ,あ、来た来た来た。ここまでは行くねんけど、あれな、どうやってやったんやろ。ようわからんな。どうやったら上がんのや、これ。ええー、押しててもあかんしな。どうやったんや今えー、何をやってたんやとかいやその割には加速せんうわおめっちゃバリバリ言ってるああなんないよこれがそもそも上がらんのがおかしいなあれなんか今でも反応したかもかといってランアップしても反応が悪いな何がかんやろと言って押したところで変わりないなうーん難しいこれブレーキもかかってないなう
うん寝かそくせんかねホールドっていうぐらいやからなどうやって動かしたらいいのさっきそれが謎やねランアップって書いてたけどそんな加速せんかったもんな,なんなんやこれは。ディレクトスロットル。RB。減らすやつやもんな変わりないなどうやって動かしたんやはっきり音はしてるけど動かんうーんなぞやなうん、これは厄介やな。もう一回だけいっか。これであかんかったやめるか。むず。In this training module, you'll be learning how to operate the Karlsruhe Kopf BNR DZF 463 N-Wagen control car. This formation is powered by a BR110 locomotive at the rear of the train, which has already been set up for you. Sit in the driver's seat. Firstly, you'll need to insert the reverser handle. The reverser determines the. While you set up the cab, set the reverser to the neutral position. Unlock the brakes with the brake key to allow braking to be controlled from this. Set the headlights to indicate that this train is operational. Open the passenger doors to allow boarding. Hmm. Here is no problem. Lock the doors and drive to the next one. The train is now ready to depart. Set the reverser to the forward position. Release the brakes. The throttle in this cab is a sprung ratcheted control. Pushing the lever forward to the run up position will increase the selected tap in the locomotive and increase power. The hold position will maintain power at the current level. Pulling the lever towards you to the run down position will decrease the selected tap. Pulling the lever towards you to the off position runs down the tap to zero and will allow coasting. The throttle will be held in this position. 
As you cannot see the selected tap in this cab, you'll need to keep a close eye on the ammeter to ensure that you do not overload the traction motors. For this introduction, you'll be driving the train a short distance and performing passenger operations. Now, apply some power using the throttle. Hmm, <laughs> ここまではやこっからの加速やにな。この辺がようわからんな。ギアが変わってるわけでもないもんな。なんなんや。はじめは上がるけど、それ以降やな。なんで上がらんやろ。うーん。上げてる割にはと。上げてる割には。速が悪いよなあの上げた時に何かを多分せんとあかんやろそこがわからんな<笑>うんかえっと調べんとあかんなあちゃこのトレーニングモジュールを学ぶことができるのは、BR110 ロコモーティブです。この BR110 は、この 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 BR110 は、
the reverser controls the direction of travel. Now we're ready to depart, set it to the forward position. Release the brakes and depart the station. The large wheel in the centre of the desk is the tap changer, which controls power delivery in the locomotive. Set the tap changer to the power index you need and the traction motors will gradually apply the set power. Charge. The currently selected tap is shown on the dashboard. Before we can start braking, the tap changer needs to be set back to zero. If you do not, braking will cause a traction lockout. The VR110 belongs to the Einheits Elektrolokomotiven, or Standardized Electrolocomotives, program. Unlike more modern German locomotives, the VR110 features scissor double arm pantographs. The five prototype Class E10 locomotives were taken out of service in the late 70s. Of these, two were preserved as museum locomotives. Nice job. The train has safely come to us. Close the doors before departure. Proceed to the next stop unguided and see how you get on. ゆっくりやろ。か
速性はでもかなり悪いなこれ。すごいな。Good work. That concludes all the basics of operating this train. Hmm. This was fast. The last one is interesting, but I don't know what was it. It's one more mystery. かなか癖がある。
<笑>あれもう一個あったんちゃうかったっけなこれとこれとこれちゃうのあれやってたっけ一個一二。3あれもう1両どこ行ったっけあれ4両だけだったっけな、うん、あれほんまないな。日のせいか4両の間違いか。うんこれはあれまたホワイト。Unlock the brakes with the brake key to allow braking to be controlled from this cab. The reverser determines the direction. Now we can release the brakes and get ready to move. The large wheel in the center of the desk is the tap changer, which controls power delivery in the locomotive. Set the tap changer to the tap that you need, and the traction motors will gradually apply the set power. Coasting is a method used to efficiently maintain. Before we can start braking, the tap changer needs to be set back to zero. If you do not, braking will cause a traction lockout. The direct brake is used to apply the brakes only on your locomotive and is faster to apply and release than the driver's brake. If you're only running as a light locomotive, as you are now, it's quicker to use the direct brake.
がすごいな、これ。うん、なんかこの辺反応してないな。Come to a stop using the direct brake. Ah, s h i m a t a y a b a t e m o t a t e m o t a The freight wagons are behind us. Change direction with the reverser, then change the junction indicated either by walking over to it or using the map. The junction is correctly aligned. You can now couple up to the freight. Approach slowly and stop just before the buffers. This locomotive uses manual hook couplers which will need to be connected. You can couple and uncouple from either an external camera or on foot. Let's connect the formation using the external camera. Now couple the locomotive to the freight wagons. Return to the first person camera. Nice work. Change direction with the reverser and move the train forward into the indicated siding.
come to a stop using the driver's brake valve. You can couple and uncouple from either an external camera or on foot. Uncouple the wagons from on foot this time. Stand up and head outside. Mm, yes, shop. That concludes this training module. Oh, welcome. Yes, let's go. 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 Let's go